Kevin Shine, welcome back to the Cooper Associates County Ground. Changed a bit since you were last here. It has, but it still looks absolutely lovely. Um, I still think this is the nicest ground in the country. Obviously, um, very fond memories of it from when I played and when I coached. But coming back, it's just been developed so beautifully. It's um, it's always nice to come back. Still feels like a proper cricket ground, doesn't it? Yes, it does. You're close enough to see see all the action. You obviously get to enjoy the delights of the southwest. So yeah, it's, it's I think it's one of the best cricketing experiences you can have in the world. And what are you specifically here doing today and tomorrow? Well, I've come down to. Um, spend some time with the Somerset bowlers. We've obviously got Jamie and Craig here who we um, obviously Craig's now playing for England which is fantastic to see uh, and Jamie we hope will play for England um, but he's obviously been doing a lot of work with us this winter. Um, he's been with us on the pace program actually getting back to fitness um, which hopefully he will do this season and he'll, he'll have a very successful season for Somerset um, but I've also been looking at the other bowlers too obviously Lewis Gregory has been on our radar for a while and just being able to spend time with the other players as well is, is very very beneficial for me so so that I know all of the bowlers that are coming through for the um, for the future. Can we just hark back to Jamie a moment I mean I, I was out there this morning watching like you were uh, he looked pretty tasty out there in the indoor net. Mm, yeah he's improving it's, it's been a long very very frustrating winter for him because he wants to be out there and playing and interestingly enough just before he got injured he was probably bowling as well as he's ever bowled um, and we were all very, very excited. High pace, good control. He was swinging the ball as well. Fantastic combinations. That's, you know, that's a high quality bowler. So he's had a long, long winter where he's had to really strip everything back to the basics. Um, he's had to rebuild his fitness, rebuild his action. Um, but I think this morning we saw some really exciting stuff. He started to bowl fast, um, especially at Marcus Driscoll, <laughs> which I quite enjoyed watching that, to be fair, seeing the old, the old stager get uh, worked over a little bit. But I think that's the Jamie that we know and we, um, you know, we're really confident that he'll come back like that um, for this season. And you've had a lot to do with Jamie over the years, haven't you? You've seen him virtually from a very green bowler. You've worked with him in the PPP, um, that sort of thing. Yeah, we've, we've seen a lot of Jamie and we obviously understand his potential. But I think the most, um, the most gratifying thing from, from my point of view, working with the, for the ECB and working with Somerset is how much uh, it is a collaboration. It's not just us taking Jamie away. Jason Kerr and myself work very, very closely and, and, and Jason's a fine, fast bowling coach um, and he's come up with some really good ideas um, for Jamie's um, rehabilitation and for coming back into the game um, and we've been able to help with that by being able to take him away to South Africa and to Spain, to Desert Springs so that he can get off his long run up and he can start to build his form back into his fitness. The indoor marquee has been something great addition to the training facilities here I would have thought. Yeah that's actually our marquee really, so is you it? do have to give it back um, <laughs> that's the marquee that goes up at Loughborough right. uh, in October to prepare um, our guys for their winter program yeah. so obviously the under-19s use it the pace program and England have used it too but I think they are a fantastic addition I mean, obviously the players would probably prefer to go to Barbados or Cape Town but actually if you think about what you're going to get in pre-season yeah. it's a lot more like you know with your nibbling wickets yeah. and a lot more like what you'll get in April. Now I, I can't let you go without harking back to those days because you were the man in charge when we lifted that cup in 2001, the CNG glory year, the start of a, the, the rerun again. I mean, that was a fantastic year, wasn't it? And you had a lot to do with that team, didn't you? Um, I, I think I did, but I was, I was very lucky in that they were a, you know, a team that were uh, very self-sufficient. Obviously, some fantastic performers in there, and that's what you need as a coach. You need guys who actually take responsibility and, and do it for you. Um, and they certainly did in that year. I, I obviously have a huge affiliation with, with Somerset and Taunton. I was here in 1996, just trying to think back, that is a long time. Uh, my two sons were born here, I met my wife here. Um, we have very, very fond memories. I would actually love to come and live back in the southwest. I, I surf um, every year down in Devon. Um, used to go mountain biking up in the Quantox. So, uh, it's just one of the most beautiful places on earth. So it's always a bonus when I can come back and visit.